been in business for 19 years. I think we're known for some unique builds. And also we've, for most recent years, we've been known for some of our custom one-off machining that we do for even other shops. This year we're coming to the table with a 71 Ford Maverick. Well, we've got the uh, Bennett Racing little small block Ford in here. Again, trying to keep the stock hood height of the car, which led us having to uh, machine all the intake on it and so forth to get everything down low and to flow well. And then from there we're using two precision turbos and uh, intercooler made by uh, CNR Racing and then our CNR Racing radiator here that'll hopefully keep this monster cool. With all the heat management and everything on this project we've, we've actually done some little louvers in the hood and then our friends over at DEI they got us some really good heat wrap so we can have some heat management with all this header and exhaust work just hanging out up here in the engine bay. As far as wheels and tires, uh, we leaned on Pirelli for the tires. They had good tire sizes that we wanted, nice widths to be able to put the power down uh, with running a 355 in the rear. Uh, we're running a 305 in the front. Uh, we've leaned on bare brakes to provide us some really good stopping power for whenever we really wind this thing up in a mile run. And then with the wheels, the design is inspired off of some GT40s back in the 60s and stuff. And, and that's where we come up with the design of this wheel. And then so we machined them here in the house and, and put them together in the cars. Yeah, with the Maverick, we've added about a probably a three inch flare on this car. We have a ton of clearance and all the travel we need on the top side of this uh, monster tire here. So, but I think it adds to the aesthetics of the car as well. Inside of the car, we we're using an IDIDIC column, new shifters for the 4L80E transmission. Uh, it's a bowler performance transmission to be able to hold up to the horsepower that's going to be pushed through it. The roll cage in the car uh, it has to have its certain points. All the welds can't be ground or smoothed up, so they're all sh showing. We're just painted over them. Back here in the trunk, we've machined all the tail lights, lenses, and bezels and everything else, fuel cell, utilizing all the aeromotive twin pump assembly. That motor needs quite a bit of fuel, so there's a number 10 line going all the way to the front, uh, fed by two pumps. Yeah, I feel great about being selected as a SEMA Battle of the Builders participant, and it just feels good that to be noticed, and uh, all that hard work that myself and all the guys back at the shop have all put together, it's just good validation, and, you know, we've kind of done a good job there. It's a good, good thing and good feeling to be involved with that whole group that's going on there and, and uh, whether you never make it anywhere it's just knowing you're going out there and you're part of something so it's pretty cool.